Hello, everyone. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith with me, as usual. Big welcome to you to today's game. And the match for you today, Cambridge United against Carlisle United. Well, two teams down towards the bottom. It's a big match this, even though it's fairly early on in the uh, three points vital for one of them. So this is how the hosts line up today. The kind of players that we expect, the kind of performances we expect from the individuals kind of make this formation work. Yeah, I mean, it can at first glance look cautious, but it just depends on the attitude of the players out there. And once they've got a foothold in this game, they can get a little bit more adventurous and push on. This is the away team lineup. So, Alan, 4 4 2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape, it's the one that the manager prefers. And the referee for this match is Rob Lewis. <laughs> Kick off here for Cambridge United. The ball to Duck. One or two tackles early on, he's given the free kick here. He's going to get his message across the ref. Kennedy. Kennedy. There's some potential in this move. Well, he's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception, made it look easy, actually. It's a free kick, and that's all it is. The referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Deal has been done by Chelsea, and the new signing is ready to go. Well, it's a fairly big transfer figure, £40 million pounds or thereabouts, and uh, I think this lad won't be affected by it, though. He'll uh, be able to concentrate on his football and show us what he can do. Defender to it first. Turn pass. Good position. They've worked this attack for... This with a chance to go into the lead now. I think he got the headlines in his mind already how he was going to be getting the accolades for such a wonderful breakaway goal. Oh, dear. He's embarrassed now. Oh, he'll get some stick from his teammates, especially if they lose this game. Kennedy. There's well, good progress with this attack. Oh, it's into the net, and it's an own goal.
comes with the territory, doesn't it, when you're in that kind of position. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. It's a frustrating way to go behind in a match when you've contributed to the opposition scoring with the own goal. And Kennedy. When Alex leaves into the attacking third. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Through pass. And here's the header. Back into play off the crossbar. He can lay it off to the supporting player. In comes the challenge. Good play, but they've lost the ball now, and the opposition can get at them. It's Miller. He's coming forward with some danger. Doing well to keep the ball. It's Miller. That is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. It'll be a throw now after the tackle. Well, they're in a good position here. Great space for the shot. Taking the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. He's gone back, the referee, to book the offender. He let the play go on. It was good work by the official, but he's quite entitled to book the player now. Well, he's always going to get a yellow for that, wasn't he? It was a silly challenge, and uh, yes, you play advantage, but he's got to be punished for it. It's Miller. A goal from uh, Barnett. It's a goal for Blackpool. 40 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Goal kick now. Strong challenge. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. Surely the equaliser. He's got to it and he's claimed the ball too. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Oh, well, there weren't many chances in that first half, Alan, but the breakthrough has been made. Yeah, it does have the look of the match that maybe he's going to be decided by just the one goal. It's not been full of chances, that's for certain. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Luke Joyce. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well, excellent. Goal news from Colchester. It's a second goal for the visitors. 50 minutes played, 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan.
And they've cut it out. Newton. Well, it will be a throw. It's gone out of that player there. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. Newton. The referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside. Number 26, Yuchi Ikpizu, to be replaced by number 17, Adam McGill. Substitution coming up. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. Luke Joyce. Well, he was in the right place at the right time to cut it out. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Here's a goal from elsewhere, Alan Bacchanale. It's a goal for the home team, 64 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks. And it's a shot now! Well, that so could have been the equaliser, so close. United. Coming off the pitch, number 16, Russell Penn, to be replaced by number 17, Jamie Devitt. Goal from uh, Barnett. It's a second goal for Blackpool. 67 minutes played. 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Intercepted well. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. They gave it straight to him, didn't they? Here's a chance to attack. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Stop the game for the free kick. That's going to be a yellow card for this player. He can't have any complaints. That was an easy decision for the ref. Well, it was badly timed. He didn't get the ball. And he knows he's committed a foul there. Well, they're still leading, and they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of hanging on to that lead. And that will be handball. Goal news involving Barnett. It's a goal for Barnett. 77 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. There's good progress with this attack. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. He can't keep it on the pitch. He's gone out for a throw. Poor throw. Straight to the opposition. The home team about to make a change. Good interception. On to the attack now. Shot on! That was a chance to really get in at the goalkeeper, running off the defender, but he's run offside. Doesn't need to go as soon as he did there. Well, this is fascinating, and the crowd are loving the 
the drama that we're watching here. Just the one goal in it in favour of the home team. Yeah, careful that they don't start celebrating too quickly and that the players feel they've won the game before they actually have. Newton. Crisp defending there. Oh, whistle's gone. Free kick. for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. There's the ball in. Going for goal! Wonderful goal. It's another chance. And another goal for a team that's really dominating this match. And they are the better side. And now the scoreline absolutely shows that. Pretty straightforward, this match. And the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they've just compounded their superiority with that one. Widen the margin here to 2 0. Kennedy. And that's the end of the match, and it's 2 0. Well, they always say it doesn't matter who scores the goal, and I suppose that's even more applicable when it's an own goal. Yeah, you take what you can get, don't you? Because it will be on, the shoe will be on the other foot at some stage, and uh, they'll be delighted with that. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.